We are Como, we are you. In the news tonight, school closures and Mayor Royer's first meeting on the Westlake Mall project. Have a pleasant weekend. Good night. Now, a KOMO News 4 News Brief. Good evening, I'm Steve Poole, and the news tonight... Now, KOMO News 4, Sunday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Paymar. Mount St. Helens has erupted at 8.32 this morning. News 4, Monday. Tonight, Mount St. Helens is causing a lot of worry about floods, and the death toll has now gone up to six. But it could go higher as authorities and volunteers like ham radio operators try to find out what happened to all the missing people. And News 4 photographer Dave Crockett tells his story of what it's like to be at the base of an exploding volcano with a camera and the feeling you won't live through it all. Good evening. Good evening, I'm Steve Poole. We're continuing to monitor the situation in Poland tonight. Thompson. Here is a KOMO News 4 update. Good evening, I'm Carrie Brock. News 4 brings the news home. Good evening, four people are dead and... Now, a news brief from Como 4 News. Good evening, a Thurston County teenager is dead following a traffic accident which involved a sheriff's deputy. From Seattle, the Northwest, and the world... Tonight's news from Como 4 News. With Jeff McAtee, Connie Thompson, Harry Sloan has sports and weather with Ray Ramsey. Now, live from Seattle, Como 4 News Nightcast. Good evening, topping Nightcast. From Seattle, the Northwest, and the world, Como 4 News, Sunday. Good evening again. The cleanup continues. A huge mudslide poured down Queen Anne Hill this morning. Good afternoon. I'm Kathy Gertzen with a special Como 4 News Brief. Today's big story of... You're watching Como 4 News, the Northwest News Channel, with Jeff McAtee, Kerry Brock, weather with Steve Poole, and sports with Bruce King. Now, live from Seattle, Como 4 News, Nightcast. Hello again. If you've just been watching ABC's coverage of Liberty Weekend, you know what a night it has been in New York City. You're watching Como 4 News, the Northwest News Channel, with Ted Warren and Rick Meter with sports. Now, live from Seattle, Como 4 News, Saturday. Good evening. A passenger train bound from Vancouver, British Columbia to Montreal never made it. You're watching the Northwest News Channel, KOMO, TV4, Seattle. News that counts with Ted Warren and sports with Rick Meter. Now, live from Seattle, Como 4 News, Sunday. Good evening. The two young boys are recovering tonight. Now, live from Seattle, Como 4 News, Sunday. Good evening. No doubt about it, lawmakers are being called back for a special session of the legislature. This is Wheat Night with stories of the Northwest. Tonight, a husband and wife who are both comedians. And a brush with greatness from Russia. Now, live from Seattle, Wheat Night with Dick Foley and Dana Middleton. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weeknight for a Friday night. Can you believe four days of a brand new year are history already? Here is a problem that has the nation's police officers beginning to work even more overtime. This was the only thing that when I did it, I could not put it down. The horror of crack cocaine is sweeping through neighborhoods everywhere. Tonight, angry citizens begin to strike back at their most threatening new neighbor. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of town meeting, Ken Crow. Thank you. 
large group. Thank you very much. Welcome to Town Meeting. We are coming to you live. This is a Como News Brief with Dan Lewis. Good evening. There might be a sign tonight we're closer to a ground war with Iraq. Live from Seattle, this is the Como News Morning Express. Good morning. It is Friday, the 11th of June. You're watching Como TV4 in Seattle. Live from Seattle, this is Como News 4. Good afternoon. A new state law is designed to let you know if a sexual predator... You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Live from Seattle, this is Como News 4. Good evening. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Live from Seattle, this is Como News 4. They did it tonight in Dallas, and in Minneapolis, and in every city across the nation, including Seattle. Census workers counted the uncounted, the nation's homeless. Good evening, I'm Kathy Gertson. The Census Bureau is calling it S-Night. This is a Como News 4. Dan's passion report. is hard news. Good evening, I'm Dan Lewis. Another update now on the Horizon Air plane crash at SeaTac tonight. We are... Tonight on Town Meeting. The Beatles never had this problem. The Rolling Stones didn't either. But Two Live Crew has the problem, and so do some other mainstream bands. The Washington legislature wants kids under 18 prohibited from buying songs with profane or erotic lyrics. Tonight, you'll hear from band members from Two Live Crew and Nirvana, who say keeping minors from buying their songs is censorship, while supporters of the legislation say it's just good sense. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of Town Meeting, Ken Schramm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to town meeting. And we're glad that you could join us this evening. Welcome to Northwest Afternoon. With your hosts, Cindy Reinhardt, Dick Foley, and Dana Middleton. How you doing, everybody? Welcome, and uh, glad you've joined us for a brand new week on Northwest Afternoon. We have... Welcome back to Northwest Afternoon. You know, we have always on this program explored... Welcome back to Northwest Afternoon. This is the Como 4 News Brief with Dan Lewis. Good evening. We talked tonight with three women who shot and killed a man today when he attacked them. At You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, live at 5 o'clock, Como News 4. This looks like just a beautiful view of the Pacific from the Westport Jetty, but for a while today, a lot of people had reason to look at this and worry. Good evening, everyone. The worry came from a tsunami warning issued after a huge earthquake in Japan. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, live at 6.30, Como News 4. Take a look at this. Some parts of the country are enjoying unseasonably warm temperatures. Good evening, everyone. You are likely to see a few snowflakes falling within the next six hours. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, live at 11 o'clock, Como News 4.
on a chilly but very beautiful Seattle evening. Welcome back, everybody. We are down to just the last couple of minutes before the fireworks are launched over Elliott Bay. That night sky is about to be filled up with some spectacular stuff. Remember, the music will be simulcast on Como AM 1000. There will be no interruption during the 23 minutes of fireworks. And during the program, see if you can pick out those huge 16-inch shells. And then afterwards, we'll take a second look at the fireworks, and we will point these spectacles out to you. This is a Como 4 News Brief. As long as I'm getting out of it what I need to get out of it. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Good morning. Live from Seattle, this is Como News 4. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, Como News 4. The river she liked so much might have claimed a little girl's life. Rescuers found no sign of Kaylee Alberts today. Her family fears she wandered away from their barbecue Saturday night and fell into one of the most dangerous bends of the Skykomish River. Good evening. It's been a discouraging day for the family of the 23-month-old girl. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, live at 6.30... Como News 4. We're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, live at 11 o'clock, Como News 4. Good evening, everyone. We begin with breaking news. Bellevue police confirm there's been an arrest in that city's first ever triple murder. Tonight on Town Meeting. He figured out a way to get people high. He made it legal, and it could make him rich. When we first created Herbal Ecstasy, it was our intention to create a product that would be an all-natural alternative, something that's effects would be quite pronounced, but yet would be legal and safe. Millions are buying it, but the FDA warns that Herbal Ecstasy is potentially deadly, and it's called a nutritional supplement. But some doctors now believe that whether used recreationally or medicinally, all nutritional supplements should be regulated. Tonight on Town Meeting, just because it's sold as all natural doesn't mean it can't be dangerous. Is all natural always healthy? Here's Ken Schramm. Welcome uh, to our town meeting program tonight. You know, there are people who say Sean Sheehan is an over-the-counter pusher. Welcome to Northwest Afternoon with Cindy Reinhart, Dick Foley, and Elisa Jaffe. Welcome on this chilly, icy Monday. We've got a fascinating show today about the secret life of a leading model. Now, Como News 4 at 11 a.m. And good morning. Glad you're with us. I'm Sabrina Register. And I'm Jim Snyder. Good morning. Some state lawmakers have had it with drinking and driving. Now, Como News 4 at 5 o'clock. Laughter turns to screams during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade when something goes terribly wrong. Good evening, an accident marred one of the nation's most popular holiday traditions. A true story of greed, lust, and a murderous wife, next. Live from Seattle, it's Northwest Afternoon with Elisa Jaffe, Kent Phillips, and the Queen of Soaps, Cindy Reinhart. the scary true story of a real life black widow. This might look like home video of a wholesome mom out on vacation, but this woman lured men with loads of money into her clutches, then plotted their mysterious murders. Good morning. This is Como 4 News. Good morning. It's 825. I'm Margot Myers. In the news this morning, an update now. For local news, Como 4 News at 5 o'clock. 
Good evening. A manhunt is underway right now for a rape suspect in Pierce County. First to broadcast in digital high-definition television. Como 4 News. First for local news. Good evening. A 15-year-old Snohomish County boy has been arrested. First to broadcast in digital high-definition television. Como 4 News. First for local news. Good evening. It's the kind of crime that really crosses the line. The team that brings you more local news. Live from Fisher Plaza, Como 4 News. First for local news. First for local news. Dan Lewis, Kathy Gertson, Steve Poole, Eric Johnson. Como 4 News continues. Welcome back to Como 4 News. It's 5.30. I'm Dan Lewis. And I'm Kathy Gertson. A bird's eye view of the devastation. A Coast Guard camera shows us our first aerial view and gives us, a, gives us a new perspective. We see the sheer devastation as smoke five days later continues to rise from the ashes. As the smoke continues to rise, the hope of any survivors emerging from the ashes sinks. We want to tell you what we know as we know. pictures tell the story of the day we prayed would never come. Comfort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. I'm Cindy Reinhardt. Ashley's loss on one hour haunts her in a very strange way. Plus, dial in with your soap inquiry. It's One Line Wednesday. I'm Kent Phillips. And I'm Elisa Jaffe. Today, the body of a little boy in pajamas and how his death uncovered a monster among the Amish. Live from Fisher Plaza in downtown Seattle, this is Northwest Afternoon. <laughs> Welcome all of you. Welcome all of you. We've got a guy here who doesn't know what I do for a living, so we're going to kind of bring him along with us. I explained to him that I do talk about the moral and social issues in Lufkin, Texas, as we know them today. So, with that in mind, we'll move right on in the middle of midweek and this great weather. Now, first for local news, live from Fisher Plaza, honored as the best newscast in America, Como 4 News. It has been a long journey, but finally, an orphaned killer whale that... Now, live from the Como 4 Newsroom, this is First News at 4. Now, first for local news, Como 4 News. Thousands of protesters, secret service agents, and high-profile business meetings. A jam-packed day for the highest-ranking Vietnamese leader to visit the U.S. since the war. He'll be at the White House. Pouring beer down his throat, feeding it chocolate chip cookies. Luna, the orca calf, living up north in troubled waters. The disturbing reports that he's being abused. So what does his future hold? <laughs> First for local news, Dan Lewis, Kathy Gertson, Steve Poole, and Eric Johnson. Como 4 News continues. Hi there and welcome back to Como 4 News. I'm Kathy Gertson. And I'm Dan Lewis. Shocking new allegations tonight that a government worker from Canada was caught beating an orphaned orca whale. It was a grand experiment, the release of a captive killer whale taken home to Iceland after so many years in an aquarium. Keiko is just the most amazing whale that's, uh, that's ever lived. Tonight, the beloved Keiko, Hollywood's Free Willy, is gone. Now, first for local news, Como 4 News. Good evening. We got the heartbreaking news from Norway tonight. Keiko, the orca whale known to millions as the star of the Free Willy movies, is dead. Time is running out. All eyes are on the rising Skagit River right now. It's cresting in Mount Vernon. The tense waiting game begins as this threatens to be a record-breaking night of flooding. Now, first for local news, Como 4 News. 
Good evening. The Skagit River is quickly rising in Mount Vernon right now, and it's close to cresting. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. To call it a nightmare would be an understatement. We've had accidents everywhere for the morning commute with backups for miles, delays for hours. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. Guilty of attempted murder. And I've already shot several people. Hello, everybody. The Tacoma Mall shooting verdict, guilty on all charges. A jury found Dominic Maldonado guilty in the shooting that wounded seven people and terrorized hundreds of shoppers. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. We start tonight with a Coma 4 exclusive. The mother of the girl arrested for delivering that now infamous tunnel beating is breaking her silence. In her own words. I couldn't understand why they were so sure that I was the one who knew everything. The former UW student caught up in an international murder mystery defines herself for the first time. Bloom seen for miles. The new condos now up in smoke. And it's not the Space Needle or the Pike Place Fish Throwers, the Seattle attraction named one of the germiest in the world. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. What Amanda Knox said today in an Italian courtroom could get her out of prison or lock her away for the rest of her life. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. Stranded by snow and no relief in sight. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. The end of 2007 might be marked by some of the heaviest snowfall in Snoqualmie Pass history. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. A woman accused of masquerading as a boy nearly half her real age to get close and swindle her victims. In one of the most unusual stories we've heard in a while, a 30-year-old woman successfully passed herself off as a 17-year-old boy. This outfit was love at first sight for John. I think it's my destiny to meet the person who buys the dress. Okay. And then once you claim, once you throw down and say, this is my destiny, uh -huh. you have no choice but to act. What happens when a 28-year-old Seattle man believes his future lies with a stranger? Today, the surprise twist in this local bachelor's search for love. Welcome back to Northwest Afternoon here in San Phillips. And a local 28-year-old man saw this outfit in the window of a downtown boutique and decided that he had to meet the woman who buys it. <laughs> Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. Breaking overnight, Hurricane Arthur slammed into North Carolina with 100 mile per hour winds. We're getting word of widespread power outages and some damage. We'll take you live to Snags Head, North Carolina, with more on where this powerful storm is headed next. Closer to home, our weather set up to cooperate pretty nicely with your 4th of July plans. Here's a live look now where the sun and low 70s will be the order of the day once we burn through some of those morning clouds that are kind of hovering above right now. But don't worry, that'll be a different picture a little bit later. <laughs> well, good morning. Happy Friday to you and 4th of July. I'm Paris Jackson in for Kelly Koopman. Good to have you here. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. Just a couple hours from now, we'll get a rare and close look at serial killer Gary Ridgway out of his prison cell. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. My heart is telling me that I'm not giving up yet. Inch by inch, they search for signs of life. Rescuers sift through houses crushed by mud and debris. So many people have told us they want to help the mudslide victims. That's why the Como 4 Problem Solvers have teamed up with United Way of Snohomish County for a day-long fundraiser. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. The second you say something, it's out there. Three high schoolers, a compromising picture, and a hard lesson in the pitfalls of social media. So far, there are no arrests and no charges in the case of the sexually explicit photo posted on social media. Three high school students are involved according to... 
working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. Developing tonight, an earthquake and avalanche in Nepal claims at least two American lives on Mount Everest, including a member of a Seattle-based guide service. As morning breaks there, the death toll is climbing and the race to bring aid is just beginning. Within the last hour, the number of people killed in this double disaster surged again. It's Sunday morning in Nepal, and tens of thousands of people were jolted awake by strong aftershocks that continue to rumble. Working for you. Como 4 News starts right now. So if we can get ourselves about four hours of sleep, we call it good. The 12th man is pulling an all-nighter. It is the eve of one of the most important games of the year for the Hawks. Those diehard fans know better than anyone what is on the line. It is exciting. At stake is a major advantage on the road to the Super Bowl. Hello, Dan Lewis and Molly Shen. We want to bring you more on our breaking news. The Interstate 5 bridge over the Skagit River in Mount Vernon has collapsed. You're watching Como News at 6. All right, 6 a.m. now, and good morning to you. Welcome here on a Tuesday, and with it comes a clear start to the morning. We are looking at temperatures down into the 30s in many spots, but we're climbing up to near 70 degrees later this afternoon. And the good news for that early morning drive, no major accidents to report. The unfortunate news, we're starting to see traffic ramping up. Here's a live look in Seattle, where northbound I-5 locked up from Midpoint Field. Yeah, yeah the latest on that crash uh, in Marysville, if you're just joining us between a car and a train, should have a photographer on the scene in Marysville here. News starts right now. Thanks for joining us here at 11. For now, the city of Seattle says it will not press charges against two of the nine people arrested during the violent May Day protest. That is the word. Trending now on ComoNews.com. Good afternoon. Breaking right now in the Como Newsroom. Police have just confirmed one person was shot following a shootout at a Seattle bus stop. First of four, Seattle Seahawk Derek Coleman has just been released from jail within the last half hour. No one has seen Coleman yet, but the prison log shows he has been let out today. The fullback was arrested Wednesday after police say he hit another car in Bellevue and left the scene. His attorney insists Coleman hit his head in the crash and lost a hearing aid, which he says may explain his behavior. A multi-million dollar marijuana growing operation is shut down and thousands of dollars seized in the case. This is Como First News at 4. Senator Maria Cantwell is unveiling new legislation to help combat the opioid crisis. Come with Molly Shin is here with more on that. Molly? Como News starts right now. Dueling protests take over the streets of downtown Seattle. Right now, things have wrapped up. Police managing to keep the right-wing Proud Boys group and the left-wing counter-protesters separated throughout the rallies. We have live team coverage for you tonight covering both sides of the protest. Then, Defiant and evasive in front of a judge. You know, there isn't really need to talk down to me. The Como investigators are there as a so-called city guru faces more tough questions in court. Hit the classroom before hitting the trails. The free class is designed to prevent hikers from getting hurt or stranded on the mountain. Everybody was like kind of like crying and they're like scared. Seven kids hurt after a truck plows into a group of students waiting for the school bus. Now the driver is behind bars. Como News starts right now. Three of those seven boys hurt this morning are still in the hospital, but everyone should be okay. Como News starts right now. Thanks for joining us. Developing tonight, police investigating after two people shot in Tacoma. It happened in a parking lot outside several businesses just after 6 o'clock, and officers say several people ran from that scene. We begin with breaking news right now. Seattle City Council member Rob Johnson is resigning to take a job with NHL Seattle. This is Albert the Goat Mountain Goat. Today on Seattle Refined, in search of the perfect wedding venue. We fell in love doing things in Seattle, so we wanted that to be to be a big piece of it. Our refined team tags along with a unique couple looking for an out of the box spot to say I do. It is wild. Then secrets from the Mariners kitchen. 10 years later, Ichiro had those wings every single day, every day that he's ever played here. From Ichiro's wings to super smoothies, the meals that keep the players on top of their games. It's breathtaking up here. Tell me where we are. And they're some of the most breathtaking views in the Northwest. And they're just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Shadow Refine starts now. 
everybody. Welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson. Well, love is in the air around the Puget Sound as we roll into wedding season. All week long, we're celebrating the latest wedding trends from flowers to late night snacks. Today on Refined, move over northeast. We're the only big leaf maple syrup producer, commercial producer in the western U.S. Meet the Northwest family turning out maple syrup and we got to see the process up close. Plus, from NYPD Blue to General Hospital. She's, you know, a hotshot journalist. Refine goes one-on-one -on -one with actress Kim Delaney. And looking to own your own lodge? The jaw-dropping property for sale near Leavenworth that's a winter dream escape. Shadow Refine starts now. Everybody, welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson. It is the perfect pairing for all sorts of breakfast foods. I'm talking about maple syrup. You're watching Como News. A major development in the case of four people murdered in Tacoma. Police arrested a man for those killings. The latest development straight ahead. $10,000 to $25,000. That's the incentive for people to sign up to be a Seattle police officer. Coming up more on a bonus plan aimed to shore up those dwindling numbers on the force. After a couple of days of high water this weekend, the weather is giving us a break. That's great news for trick-or-treaters tomorrow. But while it is drying out, it is getting a bit chilly out there. Chilly and windy in some parts of western Washington. We're going to find those gusty winds out there, especially along the Cascade foothills. Good morning. I'm Theron Zahn. And I'm Lee Stoll. Boy, you can see all those leaves down. You're watching Como News. Good morning. Taking a live look outside right now, there is heavy rain and a lot of it now moving into the Puget Sound region. You're watching Como News. Developing now at 3.30 as more states relax restrictions put in place to fight the coronavirus. A model out of the University of Washington is now predicting a higher death toll here in the United States. You're watching Como's First News at 4. Happening now, King County Sheriff's detectives are investigating after a man shot and killed a suspected burglar inside his home. Investigators believe that the homeowner acted within his rights when he opened fire early this morning. You're watching Como News. Now, downtown is overflowing with excitement and rave green. Right now, Sounders fans are giddy with excitement over a rousing MLS Cup win at CenturyLink Field. The team bested Toronto FC. New details tonight about the deadly shooting of a Cowlitz County Sheriff's deputy. What detectives say about the suspected shooter and two other men arrested in the case. Developing now, fire rips through the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. What we've learned about the raging fire as locals remember their visits to the historic church. Countdown to adjournment at the state capitol. With two weeks left in the regular session, which bills face an uncertain future? And deadline day for the Seahawks. But is the team any closer to inking a new contract with superstar quarterback Russell Wilson? You're watching Como News at 6. Tonight, there was new information about the man who investigators believe killed Cowlitz County Sheriff's Deputy Justin DeRozier. Developing tonight, the campaign to safely reopen schools, the partnership between the state and the medical community to get teachers and other critical staff vaccinated as soon as possible. Como News at 6 o'clock starts now. And we start tonight with breaking news. Just in the last half hour, public health officials confirmed that the UK variant of COVID-19 has been detected in King County. The announcement comes just days before King and several other counties enter phase two of the state's reopening plan. Como News at 11 starts now. In the last few hours, we learned a package delivery mix-up led to an evacuation at the movie theater in North Bend tonight. Today I make the very uh, difficult decision to order closures of schools in Snohomish, King, and Pierce counties. We have reached a tipping point where the spread of this virus demands that we take action. Breaking now at 3.30, roughly half of all students in the state will not be going to classes. You're 
watching Como News. A deadly shooting in Auburn under investigation this morning. What police say happened moments before those shots rang out. All eyes on the FDA this morning. How soon they could vote on emergency use for a COVID-19 vaccine for children. The Washington State Attorney General's office suing 19 chicken producers. I'll tell you why, but first let's get a look at your forecast with meteorologist Kristen Clark. Yeah, Holly, the wind not nearly as strong today, but still gusting over 20 to 30 miles per hour for Puget Sound. You're watching Como News. A stolen former school bus taken on a wild and destructive rampage in Seattle's Soto in Central District. You're watching Como News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Developing now from water leaks to mold and no heat. Frustrated residents of a subsidized housing complex in Rainier Valley. You're watching Como News. New at four within the last 90 minutes, a CDC panel unanimously recommended boosters of the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. You're watching Como News. Developing as we come on the air, it is a weather-worn day. Here's a look from some of our cameras spread out around the Seattle area. It has been a soaker of a day, and the rain is not letting up anytime soon. The commute is looking ugly tonight as thousands hit the rain-drenched roads. Today is shaping up to be the wettest day since last January. You're watching Como News at 6. Tonight, the skies are mostly clear across the Puget Sound region. A much-needed break after 36 hours of rain, courtesy of an atmospheric river. All that rain caused urban flooding in several areas and forced local rivers to spill over their banks. In some areas, it could be hours still before the water levels drop. We have team coverage tonight, including Shannon O'Donnell with a much drier forecast. You're watching Como News. Start with breaking news. One man is dead after a shooting in Renton tonight. You can see crime tapes covering the parking lot of a Safeway store on Northeast 4th Street. The lights scare him away and they'll scatter. This is the block up here. It gets a little more dangerous down there. You will not see your faces, all right? You better not. I promise, I swear, I will stack them up. Oh, well, boy, what are you doing out here doing that kind of stuff? I'm trying to make a living. And you don't mind seeing your sister down here at Clearing Clicks? No, this is a brother. Did you use protection? Kathy Goodson. No one works harder to bring you the news.